Hello there. Cole's here, and I'm back again in Vampire, the new open world RPG. Um, and obviously it's about vampires, as you might have guessed by, you know, the name of the game. Um, so today, we're just carrying on playing through the campaign, but this time I would try and not kind of waste as much time as I did in the last video talking to different people that we don't really need to talk to yet and also making really bad mistakes like getting killed by that the boss dude like five or six times or something and then we had like some medicine to make that was for I can't even remember what it was for to be honest if we, no not that, if we press this, I'll be able to see what the medicine was, I think. Alright, yeah, so the treatment for fatigue, that's what we were meant to make, but I kept making that for some reason. I think I just didn't realise I was actually meant to be making that. So... Yeah, I kept collecting the ingredients and making this, and I didn't understand why we weren't like progressing through the story. But it's because we made the wrong thing three times. The flu took my dear wife, Emily. I take comfort knowing we'll soon be together again. Mr. Rainfields, that's no way to talk. You're in good hands here, and we'll be up again soon enough. <laughs> the hell? Now do me a kindness and get some sleep. I'll be back round later. Your words are kind. The blessings of an angel. You're the sweet, sweet lady of mercy. He's literally in a hospital bed outside. Good evening, Dr. Reed. It's a pleasure to see you again. You seem surprised. Dr. Swansea has brought me up to speed concerning your recent appointment to Pembroke Hospital. You're a vamp. The lady who saved me that night, before vanishing into thin air. I remember you from the pub with Dr. Swansea. Indeed. Allow me to introduce myself formally. Oh, a fellow I... vampire. My name is Lady Ashbury. I remember you well, in spite of the brevity of our encounter. Swansea fancies vampires. I feel played. I'm glad to see Apologies. you. Apologies. You've taken me by surprise. I'm very happy to see you. The pleasure is mine, Doctor. I hope you're more disposed to answer my questions now. You must have countless questions, but a rather urgent matter first. Swansea has explained. My cover, if you prefer has been compromised. Oh dear. I'm here to help you. Dr. Swansea okay. has commissioned me to be your agent in this matter. You could start by explaining what's amiss. These past insufferable weeks, I've been the victim of extortion. <gasps> I've made a first payment, but the blackmailer grows greedy. I must refuse his most recent demands. Please continue. Every detail is essential. I'm your man. My embarrassment in this matter is eclipsed only by my shame at having put the hospital at risk. The threat from our anonymous scoundrel is clear. A list of dates. My visits coinciding with the dates of suspicious patient deaths due to massive blood loss. Oh my god. Is it, Is true? it true? Now aren't you the blunt one? I need blood too. It's only logical. I just need information. Your this is not an interrogation. 
I assure you that this line of questioning is in your best interest. In all honesty, I'm not simply a patron to the hospital. My visits serve a dual purpose. Dr. Swansea has been treating my condition with a revolutionary technique of blood transfusion. It seems you are a specialist in the domain. I'll take care of it. That's interesting. Do you know where I should start? If that was the case, I'd settle the matter myself. You could talk to our local gossip, Harriet Jones. Not a pin drops here without her hearing about it. I'll meet that woman now. My life, as others know, is in your hands, Dr. Reed. I'm sure of your discretion, but I do fear your powers of persuasion will be put to the test. When this is resolved, I'll be your obligé. I'll answer all questions obligé. in regards of your condition. I've heard that word before. Obligé. Okay, so I think we've done everything we need to here. So she's having blood transfusions to cure her vampireness. That's pretty interesting. Well, at least I assume that's what they were meaning. And we're just going around stealing people's medicine. Oh dear. Maybe I'm not such a good guy. Okay, let's not mess about, let's uh, go here. What are we looking for? Damn it, stop. Custom marker, custom player marker. I didn't, s how do I un remove? Remove, okay. Yes, I know that's a merchant, that's why I'm not trying to click on the merchant. Slow, no. Stop doing that. I'm trying to read. A rat in the, in the hospital. Okay. Talk to Harriet in the hospital. Interrogate Gwyneth Branigan about medical error. Alright, we'll talk to Harriet in the hospital first. Is that her name? Harriet in the hospital. What the heck? Who's this? What? What? What is this? Who are you? Get out of my room. There's no need for alarm, madam. I'm Dr. Reed, the new surgeon. Preposterous. Dr. Reed, you say? I don't want some bumbling intern. Where's Dr. Swansea? Shut up. If you continue shouting, I'll have you restrained and gagged. Understood. <laughs> how brave threatening an old defenseless woman you know how long I've been a patient here you picked the wrong fight I'm Harriet Jones Harriet Jones indeed I've been meaning to have a chat with you you know what goes on here better than any other patient I gather oh better than any patient nurse or doctor I've seen so many vile undertakings I heard there have been some despicable goings on was there a case of blackmail? Blackmail? I... Wait. You're investigating something. This isn't a social call. One of those incompetent cunts in the poor sod's veins. Not about... What? You look like gossip. I assure you, madam. This is not an investigation into a possible medical error. Debauchery, then? Nurses Crane, Hawkins, Brannigan's, whores, all of them. They can't keep their legs <coughs> up. I'm sick of scratching slutty sores. Really? What the hell? Well, if you have irrefutable proof, I'll not have the staff behaving in such a manner here. This is your business, Doctor, not mine. And I swear one of the nurses is cavorting with some man on hospital hours. Thank you for your time, Miss Jones. You've given me something to go on. See you on the next round. Y'all see you later, bitch. Miss Jones, greetings. Oh my god. How do Oops. Again? Waking a poor old woman in her sleep? There isn't a poor life needs saving somewhere? 
Maybe I should ask her some questions. Now, I need to ask you a few simple questions. Well, okay. If you really must. Notice anything suspicious. Have you noticed <coughs> any suspicious comings or goings? It would be a great deal easier to make a list of things unsuspicious in this house of charlatans. Everyone here is very capable. I have not seen any instances of unprofessionalism. Thieves and murderers, the lot. People have gone missing here, you know. Poof, without a trace. <laughs> Surely it's not that bad. Come now, Miss Jones. Surely it's not that bad. <laughs> have you no eyes? This hospital accepts all manner of souls, regardless of origin. The proper sick cannot heal. We're kept sickened by the refugees. Interesting. How are you admitted? If you could just tell me why you were admitted. It's terrible, Doctor. What with the pain in my chest, coughing up blood, and I get awfully tired. It wouldn't be so bad if I hadn't lost my house and all. I see. No one comes to visit you now. Not even my own flesh and blood. That's pretty sad. Come and Goodbye. Visit me shortly. Good night, Miss Jones. Right. Let's just get some stuff out of this cupboard. Small bag of junk. Just what I wanted. Royal Garden Hall Theatre. Alright. The patients and staff. So there's three locations we have to go to now. There is Um Alright. So we need to find Nurse Gwyneth Branigan to Interrogate her about her error. Find nurse Dorothy Crane. Find nurse Pippa Hawkins. Might know something. I'll start my investigation with them. Will I? All right. Let's see Good what evening, this guy has to say. How do you feel, Doctor Reed? Is it? Oh, Sora, I must apologize for my behavior. Oh yeah. What do you mean? I was not myself in the factory. Fear and exhaustion made me say awful things to you. You remained perfectly nice and polite. A little delirious, perhaps. But who wouldn't be after enduring an abduction? Thank you, Doctor. That's a relief. Now all I need to do is rest and return to my flock. Alright. Your life in London. Do you About know Tom Watts? Watts? The bartender from the Turtle. I met him before I found you in the canning factory. Tom? Yes, of course. Always the helping hand, good old Tom. Without men like him, corruption and despair would have wiped out the East End long ago. Who should I avoid in this part of town, then? Any particularly evil figures? Not really. Most men and women are just doing their best. And it's not my habit to speak ill of people I know, Doctor. People are still in despair. How could it be otherwise? The authorities have left us all to rot in this contagious nightmare. No drugs, no advice. Nothing. It's a damn shame. Sounds like Conor McGregor. <laughs> I know if it's just Irish people in general, but How did you'll you do nothing. William Bishop's death? I had received alarming news about his recent behaviour. I went to his place and he refused to let me go. Why did he abduct Why you? Why did he abduct you? William was an alcoholic. His addiction suddenly changed to blood. I don't know why. Just like a patient I met here. This Miss Harcroft. You dared to enter this awful place alone. You're a hero, Mr. Hampton. Or a fool. I'm just a man trying to help his friend suffer. William Bishop was a conflicted soul searching for life. I'm just a simple man trying to make my way in the universe. Um, situation in the East End docks. What is the general situation in the East End docks? The situation has always been tough. Pinter. There's a lot of tension between the gangs and the dockers' trade union. The wet boot boys are very nervous since they lost their leader. There's kind of too much talking in this. Who leads the gang now? Since Clay Cox went missing, it's his wife Edwina who runs the show, with the assistance of her minion, Booth Digby. Edwina, interesting name. Has the gang been threatening you? Ah, no. 
I've had this nickname for so long, you know, the sad saint of the East End. No one dares to book a saint, not even criminals. Okay, I think that's it for this guy. I like personal questions, can't forget those. How do you feel? How do you feel, Mr. Hampton? Medically speaking, I mean. I feel exhausted. Beyond exhaustion, actually. William drank so much of my blood in his madness. I feel empty. You're in good hands here. Dr. Swansea is well versed in blood transfusion, and I'm sure he'll take the best care of you. Thank you, sir. I believe all I need is rest, and then I can go back to the people who need me. What do you do, do, you for, do a living? for a living, Mr. Hampton? I can't help but notice the cross around your neck. I manage a night asylum for the poor and homeless of the docks. And I try to guide the lost and hesitant on the right path to our Lord. Damn, he's a good guy. Why didn't you use your cross against William Bishop? To repel him somehow? That's a very strange question, Doctor. A cross is no magical token, if that's what you were trying to say. Not mine, anyway. Are you a priest, Mr. Hampton? A deacon, maybe? Not at all, Doctor. Just a man of faith willing to preach the good word. Okay, made friends since you arrived. You made friends since you arrived. Not really, but I recognized Miss Harriet Jones. I knew her when she lived by the docks. That poor woman had such a miserable life. You never came to see her here at Pembroke. Receiving visits when sick can be an important part of the healing process, you know. We're not just body. You're preaching to the converted now, Doctor. Truly honest, I thought she was dead. She left the docks many months ago. All right. Goodbye, Mr. Hampton. We'll talk again later. All right. Well, it said we should um, talk to patients before we go and talk to those people, but there's just kind of too many people around, so we're just going to go and find those nurses to speak to, I think. After I steal all these medical supplies en route. What the hell was that? Thelma Halcroft. Thelma Halcroft. Said she was being watched by vampire hunters. Where are they hiding? I should invest. I should invest. A gate. What am I doing? Oh, that's what I was. It's locked, all right. Uh, I actually saw that shimmering from in from outside. Or maybe it was this that I saw. Hospital full. All right. I understand you must be observed. Is she inside? Still some supplies. Locked, that one's locked as well. Okay. Um. Are they inside? No! I don't think I want to go out there, do I? All I want to do is find where these people are. It's actually not easy, I don't know where they are. Oh, we got some codeine. Some more codeine. Oh, salicin. Whatever that is. Right, so it says how far away they are from us, so... I don't think we're looking for him. Very well. It's locked, all right. What does it sound there? Dr. Tippett, Dr. Strickland, Dr. Ackroyd. And I get my own room. Like an absolute boss. Still some more supplies. Sodium hy hypochlorite solution. Where the hell are these people? Where are these nurses at? Okay, so apparently she's... What? Apparently she's right here. She's not. Oh, is this her? 
Good evening, Nurse Hawkins. Good evening, Dr. Reed. Is this one of the people we were supposed to talk to? Oh, I didn't even realize those controls at the top. That's where I was pressed for details. Medical checkup. Do you need medical help yourself, nurse? I'm fine, really. I just need to sleep. Um. Blood quality. All right. Strange man visiting nurses. What can you tell me about the strange man visiting one of the nurses during her shift? Let me guess. You spoke with that old shrew, Harriet Jones. Do not pay attention to her, Doctor. She's full of fanciful tales. Um. She could have been telling the truth about the mysterious man. That old witch will end up in hell soon enough. Who cares if a nurse finds some happiness where she can? No matter how you feel about her, Miss Jones deserves our help. Who says I don't care for her? Hate is what keeps that old crone alive. All right. Well, that's that then. Um, have we done all this? I think we've done all this, haven't we? That's why the grey. Okay. Alright, okay. Goodbye. Useless. Thanks for nothing. Okay, so there must be someone out here that we have to talk to. Oh, just in time. Good evening, nurse. I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed, the new surgeon here at Pembroke. Dr. Swansea has already told us about you, sir. I'm Nurse Gwyneth Brannigan. Welcome to the Pembroke Hospital. Did he really? It's a good thing I wasn't hoping to keep a low profile. All members of staff have already read about your new blood transfusion technique. Dr. Swansea made sure of that. I see. Well, I'm a little surprised. But I suppose I'll just have to deal with this unexpected notoriety. You must know, blood transfusions are Dr. Swansea's primary subject of research. He is convinced it is the future. Notoriety. Strange man visiting nurses? Yes. Have you seen a strange man visiting any of the nurses here? I've never heard of such a thing, Doctor. Oh, okay. Do you know if any of the hospital staff have criminal backgrounds? The people who work here all come from very different backgrounds, Doctor. Just like the patients. How are your life in London? What is the situation here? here? Not good, to say the least. We're struggling against an invisible enemy, more lethal than any bullet from a gun. It's hard, Doctor. The invisible enemy, hmm. An invisible enemy? Quite a poetic term for a disease, especially from a nurse. Sorry, Doctor. These last few weeks have been exhausting. We could all do with a good night's sleep. Could this hospital fail? Do you think this hospital can survive? We are all volunteers, and we're trying to hold fast, but how do we beat an invisible killer? Some nurses have already resigned. Damn. Tell me about the staff. With all the staff yet. Perhaps you could help me. Brilliant professionals, most of them. Dr. Swansea has a gift for recruiting talent. Most of them. Is there a problem I should know about, nurse? It would be inappropriate for me to speak ill of a colleague. Nurse Brannigan, if you do know something, please tell me. Anything you say will be held in confidence. No. I may disagree with some conduct, but in the end, everybody is doing their best. Is there anyone that stands out? Well, I have never met someone as dedicated as Dr. Tibbs. He should be a standard for us all here. If only he were younger. Why should his age be a problem? I guess it's fair to say he's always pushing himself to the limits. He just doesn't know when to stop and get some rest. Huh. New hint available. 
for Dr. Tippett's. That's all we just did. Personal questions. Tippett's praises you. Why does Dr. Tippett's claim you're the main reason he keeps working, despite his fatigue? If it wasn't for him, I probably would have left the Pembroke years ago. Dr. Tippett's does not think of you as just a nurse anymore, does he? If you're suggesting he's not taking my gender into consideration when it comes to medical practice and knowledge, I really hope he doesn't. Tell me what Dr. Tippett's did. I know his mistake caused a patient's death. If I had not covered up his error, Dr. Tippett's would have been fired from this hospital. I could not let that happen. You can't allow your emotions to dictate your conduct concerning patients, Nurse Brannock. Look around you, Dr. Reed. Do you really think we can afford to lose a brilliant practitioner like Dr. Tippett's in our situation? You did not have the right. Hmm. I understand what you did. You took a great risk. Do I want to be a bad dude? Uh, kind of bad dude or a nice dude? Hmm. Let's, let's go with this. We, we're usually good, but this time we're gonna name must be, the be mean. Of Dr. Swansea. You can't take matters into your own hands. I respect Dr. Swansea's authority and management, but he's no idea what happens here on a daily basis. I did what I had to do. All right, well, there we go. I won't reveal Doctor. I've decided that I won't reveal Dr. Tippett's, shall we say, misdemeanor. I'm so glad you share my point of view. Dr. Tippett's Why did I say that? practitioner. We most definitely need his know-how. I hope you're right. This is a huge risk we're taking. Dr. Tippett's must regain his confidence. Keep this decision between you and me. He doesn't need to know you found out. Hint failed. No! Goodbye. God damn it, why did I do that? What a waste of time. God damn it. I try and be a bad vampire. I try to be a bad guy. And I just can't do it. I end up being a nice guy. That will be my downfall. I'm sure. Find Dorothy in the area. I don't bloody know where she is. God. No, we're in the wrong place here. I need to go back down this end. Oh, I can hear someone talking. Why can't we walk through those things? That's so annoying. Eva's drop. Eve's drop. Press L. L3 to activate your senses. If a citizen is behaving suspiciously, suspiciously, the heart will emit a distinctive glow. By looking at the citizen, you'll unlock a special interaction. Look for Dorothy Crane. Okay. You're sure you don't come back with me? Nah, I have to see someone at the hospital. Be careful. Ah. You look so bad they may keep you as a patient. Fuck them. I don't like hospitals or doctors. Damn, she's covered in blood. When you go back to Whitechapel, you may find this useful. What is it? A pass for a free medical exam by the best nurse available. Just read it. I don't read well, but thank you, I guess. Oh, he's the mystery man, is he? Alright. 
Wait, what? She just disappeared. What the hell? Retrieve a thug in the sewers. Okay. Poplar sewers. Retrieving the thug in the sewers. A rat in the hospital. He's yeah, can't go through there. Behind him. I need to find another way to follow him. Through the other door, obviously. That was lucky, wasn't it? That was the second door. Oh my god. There's going to be like another boss level, isn't there? I can just see it. This man has been savagely attacked and dragged to the floor. What the thug? No, what the hell? What the shit? That wasn't fair. Like, there was nothing I could do. I couldn't dodge. There was just no room. And he was, like, bashing me into the sides. And it was just... I just couldn't move. Okay, at least it didn't... Start us off too far back. We're just through here again. Anything else to pick up in here? I don't think so. Oh, this one. What the hell? I can't, I can't do anything. It's stuck. It's, it's bloody stuck there. Jesus. Oh my. Like, that's kind of a problem with this game. It's like, you get stuck in a corner like that, right? And then the camera just goes all glitchy and stuck in the walls and stuff. So you can't actually see anything. You're basically fighting blind. And you can't move either. You're just stuck in that corner. Not fun. Not cool, bro. Not cool. Look, oh, we nearly had him as well. What's it doing? That was actually ridiculous. What? Oh my god. Yeah, and then sometimes you right, so you lock you lock onto the enemy, right? And then it like sometimes just locks onto a different enemy. Oh Jesus Christ, don't do this again, you idiot. Oh my god. I was I was pushing it. It's actually insane. Okay, so we've got a common barbed cudgel. What the hell is one of those? What was that? Was it like a health regeneration thing?
What the hell? He just came out of nowhere. He just jumped like 10 meters. Okay, maybe not that far, but... Like, I attacked him there with that, the, the blood spear thing and he just jumped through it straight at me. What a useless, useless ability. Oh, Christ. Where are we going up here? We're going the wrong way. By the looks of it. Okay, let's go back down here. Where are we? This is confusing. Oh, a rat. <laughs> Bullet. Four bullets. Okay. Thank you. Anything else? Nope. Okay. Oops. Apparently the barrels break if you walk on them. Oh, another rat. I didn't see that one. Let's just fill our blood level up. And we have our super cool abilities. That is grim. Okay, this is probably going to be like where the final boss level thing is. Jesus Christ! What sort of creature is this? Yeah, what kind of creature is this? It's a werewolf or something, is it? Well, we've barely even done any damage to it. <laughs> Just bite the vampire at the werewolf's neck. I haven't been hit once. No, you idiot. Jesus Christ, almost dead already. No. But yeah, one hit from that and you're nearly dead. Jesus. Oh my god. Wow. What sort of creature is this? Almost dead already. How do we... What? Thank you for your blood. Jesus Christ, how do we defeat this thing? It's going to take forever.
No! Uh... Well, we were lucky there. No, dodge you idiot! Why doesn't it dodge sometimes? No, what the hell? I think we picked the wrong abilities to upgrade. I think that's part of our problem. What sort of creature is this? You idiot, move! Oh, don't, don't move then. Move, you piece of crap. Oh my God! Crap. Fuck sake. It's not actually, it's not fair. Simply put it, it's not fair. What is it doing? You. What sort of creature is this? That was lucky. How the hell did that happen? Move. Okay, this is better. I shouldn't have probably shouldn't have said that, so I'm probably gonna Yes. No! Right, maybe I need to try a different weapon combo. What have we got? Oh, we've got this thing. Definitely think we should equip that. Get that. Then get... This. Eight shots. Okay, nice. 160 damage. So we'll take that for now. Okay. My hands are kind of sweaty. Maybe... We can get it this time. I don't know. As long, it's like as long as it locks on, we can do all right. What sort of creature is this? Well, 
Where's my gun? Oh, it's there. Why wouldn't it shoot? Oh, we're out of bullets. Alright. Oh my god, that was a bad place to stop. Okay. Quick, 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 quick. What have we got? 54 damage. 21 shots. Or 21 shots of that. They both do 10 stun. Okay, <laughs> why do I always have to do this? It's kind of cheating, but <clears throat> I feel like now that the gun's run out, we might as well not have the gun. Just get that instead. No, no, no. <laughs> Literally all I had to do was use the blood thing to regain, to like, you know, do the health regain. And it just didn't do it. Okay. We need to do the same thing again. Let's get ready. It's quite good with the gun. Alright. Don't... Just imagine if we didn't have any bullets now. Oh my god, we... Don't. What? They've got to be joking.
They have to be joking. Oh, they just took all our bullets away. Oh my god. I'm not sure I can do this now. Come on. Oh my god. Damn it, we just wasted all our bullets. I pressed the wrong damn button. No, I don't want to jump up there. I just want some bloody bullets. Hello. Okay. Oops. I guess we're not getting any more bullets. Right, well, I mean, we're going to have to do this at some point, so we might as well just do it now. We have one gunshot left. It's actually ridiculous. We'll never, oh, we're never going to do it. Oh, wait, and then... Oh, my God! <laughs> no! I can't believe I just did that. I just accidentally pressed it when I was going to press this. Right, well, it's kind of no point in having that now. <clears throat> we have that equipped, which is good. And then there, well, there isn't anything to... Alright, we have two light regeneration serums, we could maybe use those. But the thing is, is you don't get a chance to like use them before you get killed. That was the problem that I had last time. Sort of creature is this? Can't, I still can't believe it took all our bullets off us. It's, it's just not fair. What sort of creature is this? Oh, come off it. I dodged. How did he do that? Piss off.
Does not help. What the hell? That is not fair. Come on, don't bloody die now. It'd be helpful if I didn't miss.
<laughs> what the hell was that? <clears throat> oh my god, that took so long. I took like half an hour, I think. Or more. Here's what's left of him. <sighs> if you are sick, if you have no money, whoever you are, wherever you're from, come see Dorothy to, keep, to get help. No tricks, no charges, no questions asked. Just find Darius Petrisius. Petresi. What the hell? Just find Darius Petres Petrescu. Petrescu's house and present this coupon. And then it's written in a different language. Yeah, I was reading. I was actually reading the letter version, not the like the typed written version on the right. So where it says Darius Petrescus, Petres, Petrescus, it looks kind of looks like an air on the letter. Some voucher for a free checkup in Whitechapel. What is Nurse Crane up to? I really must find her. So she was just. So the nurse was like feeding people to the werewolf. Is that what she was doing? Or convincing them to go down here to basically be eaten by the werewolf. Damn, look at those look at those butt cheeks, man. Mighty fine glute on this. Strange looking beast. Okay. Let go. Woo! That's the noise I made when I defeated the werewolf. I have no idea why. <laughs> oh my god. If we died now and had to redo that whole thing, that would be horrible. This first for blood. This is despicable. Eating dead rats. Well, actually, they're living when I eat them, so. Yeah, that's pretty despicable. And we managed to do that without any any bullets, any guns at all. We just used a baseball bat with some nails sticking out of it. Citizen to save. Careful, the endangered, uh, the endangered citizen may not survive the next night. Go check on him. <clears throat> All right. You dick. <coughs> Come on, you little bish. Too easy. I really shouldn't say that. No, I want to. Okay, fine. Are you injured, sir? Help me get out of here. I need to get out. I'm Dr. Reed, and I'd be glad to help you, but you must calm down first. Please, take a deep breath and tell me your name. Okay. Okay, I I I'm Oswald Thatcher. Please, I need to get out. All right, Mr. Thatcher, you're safe now. Do you think you can reach the street by yourself? Yes. Yes, I do. Good. Now leave this place and enjoy the cool night air. It's quite invigorating. I'm sure you'll feel better if You rescued a citizen. You will return to his district following the following night. 
Oh, I don't want to rescue him. What? Are you sure you're all right, sir? Yes. Yes, he's already said all that. All right. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I like that song, it's like, drum roll, drum roll, it's just saying drum roll. And we will be serene and beautiful. Sweet. The district will soon suffer the consequences of my actions. I don't actually read what it said, but I imagine it said my actions are somewhere along those lines. Because I just did a very bad thing. For the first time. Okay, where are we going next? Wait, what? There was the main quest thing there and then it disappeared. It's all the way up there. Blackmail in Whitechapel. Put an end to the blackmail plot against Lady Ashbury. Okay. I think we'll probably do that in the next video. As it took so long to defeat that werewolf. And, you know, I finally did my first bad thing. I feel like that's a good place to stop for today. Look at his corpse just lying there. It looks uncomfortable. Look at his legs. Despicable. Disgraceful. I can't believe I would do that. So, yes, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and a comment even. That would be cool. And subscribe to the channel for more videos like this one. And, you know, stuff like LEGO Worlds and whatever else I play. So yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.